Hi guys, Jody back again with some more of a recent NYX haul. Uh, found some good day, good um, deals on eBay that I told you about in my NYX soft matte lip cream video. Uh, and I wanted to go on to a few more NYX products that I have added to my collection. NYX is a product that is available um, at Ulta and um, I know in America on Cherry Culture, many, many other um, places. In fact, I think even there might be some places where um, people are able to buy it at Walmart. In Australia, where I currently am, you are able to get uh, NYX from um, crushcosmetics.com.au uh, but I think I have found um, much better deals on eBay you know including the the shipping there coming for products coming all the way from the US and you will actually get um, quite often I think deals on NYX through cherryculture.com they will ship internationally as well um, so you know just shop around online a bit for the for the best deal it is really quite inexpensive they have an excellent color range and uh, I'm really impressed with NYX products I have a lot of their single eyeshadows I have a lot of their uh, lip glosses lipsticks already um, and now I have the full set of their matte uh, lip creams and after this coming up soon I will be doing a video on the new NYX Nude on Nude palette um, which um, sort of vies I guess against the uh, Urban Decay Naked palette for just a great versatile nude palette that you can take with you and do you know hundreds of, of different looks so I will be doing that um, review for you shortly. I just need to um, spend a little bit more time actually trying out that product and let you, letting you know what I think about that, the various colours and how they wear throughout the day etc etc. So um, starting basically with the NYX Mega Shine Lip Glosses, you will see these mentioned as uh, a favourite on Makeup Geek's website as you know one of her more favorite inexpensive products. Emily Noel has posted I think at least a couple videos recently featuring um, one of these colors, at least one of these colors in chandelier. I think I have probably about half a dozen, six to ten probably of those Mega Shine lip glosses already and I just wanted to add to that collection. So I will start with the one that Emily Noel has spoken about a couple of times recently. This one is in chandelier and it's a beautiful pink with silver sparkles and um, I don't really have any NYX lip colors that look like this um, but it would be a color that you can um, find in other color ranges but you can see first of all um, how obviously glossy it is how shiny it is all those silver reflex really make this a nice sparkly lip gloss and then you've got that pink color underneath as the base um, so I really like that chandelier color it's really pretty on its own which is fantastic as well as on top of you know a lot of other colors so I really do like that chandelier it's very very pretty and as I'm putting it on uh, I do just get a whiff of that gorgeous gorgeous I love the smell of these mega shine lip glosses it's beautiful um, next one is salsa and I think one of the reasons I wanted to get salsa was because Bentley Blonde got a deal on I think she got like a set of maybe six lip glosses I think it was from Outlook a sale that they had on Outlook Outlook um, and it was her first experience with NYX lip glosses and she got some really pretty colors and salsa was in there oh just that bubblegummy cherry sweet smell of these glosses alone is a great reason to buy them I just <laughs> I love the smell of these lip glosses so this is salsa uh, here you can see it is more of a pink chandelier I'm not sure how well it's coming up in the lining but chandelier is more of a purpley blue based color with salsa more of a corally corally pink and again with silver sparkles I do like my shiny sparkles in lip gloss uh, so three out of four we've got sponge cake and sponge cake compared with the others is more of a it's got a bit more of like a rosy kind of um, beigey color to the pink. We'll show you how it swatches next to the others. Yep, and how it looks in the uh, bottle compared or in the container compared with the others um, comes out on the swatch as well. You can just see it's more of like a, a beigey, darker pink 
love that lighting. I'm going to shut up about it now. I hate watching people's videos and hearing them make excuses about why they haven't made videos in a long time. There's no rules as far as I'm concerned with YouTube. Post videos when you want to post videos and stop apologising. I hate hearing people apologise about their set and their background and their makeup or the state of their hair or their lighting. I just hate it. I just want them to get on with it. So I'm going to stop talking about that. <laughs> um, so I do have, the last one here is golden pink. Can't resist something that's just called golden pink. Golden pink just sounds like a great colour. So uh, golden pink is like a classic pink. It's a little bit darker than salsa, a little bit more blue based than salsa. And I'll show that to you there. So we've got the golden pink on the end, sponge cake, salsa, and then chandelier. Really pretty lip glosses. You can't beat a NYX Mega Shine lip gloss. You can't. They don't really last all that long, but they're just so pretty. They smell great. There's a great amount of product. They're inexpensive. Can't beat them. So I also got some of the uh, round lipsticks, and I've doubled up on some. I was really um, silly. I didn't realize that I already had one of these colors. So I got... Um, two of Cito, but I'll start with strawberry milk and again Bentley Blonde is pretty much responsible for strawberry milk This is LSS 595 strawberry milk NYX round lip um, sticks and They have their own smell again. It's slightly different to the Mega Shine lipsticks, but um, Very nice very nice again. Just very sweet. You can see strawberry milk there on my hand. It's just a very light candy candy pink um can't really wear that one on my own I on its own I will top it with another lip gloss or I will use a lip pencil to tone it down or um, you know make that color a little bit more wearable but it's you know it's nice um, then I got CETO C-E-T-O and that is LSS 546 I'll show you what CETO looks like in the pan CETO looks like more of a sort of beigey color it is definitely frosty and you'll see it there next to strawberry milk There you go. Cito is really pretty. It's one of those colours that you could stick on while you're driving down the freeway. Not really look twice at whether you're staying in the lines of your lips, not in the lines of the traffic. Of course, you're looking to make sure that you're staying in the lines of the freeway. Um, but Cito, you can just whack it on. It's just a nice, pretty nude that's sort of going to um, add a nice sheen to your lips and not do too much damage if you don't look too hard in the mirror. Next colour is more of a vibrant one. This one's called uh, FEMME, F-E-M-M-E, -M -M -E, LSS 643 is the number code for that. And FEMME, yes, uh, I ordered FEMME when I was in more of a, a vibrant, mad mood. It's definitely a corally, um, it's like an orangey, pinky. It's probably coming up more blue based than it actually is on the camera from what I can tell on the display. Um, it is sort of like a hot orangey color femme. I got that because I don't really have a lipstick in there that color at all. And the last one is in T Rose LSS 628. T Rose is just a nice, it's definitely, um, it's just a nice, I'm going to call it a nice inoffensive pink. It's darker, it's not a nude. You can see there on the end T Rose. Um, it's just a nice pink if you want to add a bit of color and you know not be anything too crazy tea rose is a really pretty one and then I also got my first two um, oh, I'm looking for my purse because I've only got one of them um, with me I, I got my first two NYX I think they're called yeah diamond sparkle lipstick and I've got the sparkling flamingo in my bag and I really really like that I've worn that I wore that one or two days this week and I really liked it um, this one I, and that's the one that I have in my bag that I don't have with me right now this is the sparkling plum show you sparkling plum and um, the Diamond Sparkle lipsticks, as, it, as expected, are a little less, um, well, they're different to the round lipsticks. They obviously have more of a diamond sparkle in them. They have a little bit more glitter, but they're um, not over glittery. Like you don't notice a whole bunch of glitter on your lips when you're wearing it. And neither do you notice it when it fades off, I would say. So that is Sparkling Plum there on the end. It's not as plummy as I would expect. It's got more um, sort of bronze. It's like a rosy bronze to it. 
um, sparkling plum is not how I would describe that color but it's really pretty nonetheless and I you know saw swatches online to help me decide what colors that I wanted to order and start with with those diamond sparkle lipsticks so um, that is the NYX component of my um, whole lip products and I'm also going to show you just a set that I also bought from um, all cosmetics wholesale so this was going to be a NYX only video but I will just show you the set of uh, lip tars that I purchased now apparently this is quite exclusive to all cosmetic wholesale um, it's a set of five colors and um, I have a very very sweet uh, friend on YouTube I think she's a subscriber um, who attended a the makeup show in New York recently and she has picked up um, some OCC lip tars for me sorry lighting um, which are currently on the way um, and I'm very excited to get those and I also have just received these from All Cosmetics Wholesale so I will show you what these colors are we've got uh, a neem here which looks really pretty the swatches online this one here is NSFW, that's a ready colour. This is Memento, uh, Grandma, Hush and Clear. And lip tars, if you haven't heard about them before, are just extremely pigmented lip products. They are like a cream, you would put them on with a lip pencil and um, you need the tiniest, tiniest amount to um, yeah, pop them on. So I'll just show you these colours really quickly. So this first one is a neem. It looks a lot brighter pink than I remember from the swatches online that's it there and you can just see how vivid it is um, the tiniest little amount um, there this second one one is NSFW and I was saying I think that these um, this color set is exclusive to allcosmeticswholesale.com there you go that's a very dark deep blood red I would say no it's more it's a little bit more magenta than than red it's um, blood red it's not a blood red it's a little bit darker a little bit blue based next one there and it's just the tiniest amount they are so pigmented and spreadable is memento these do have a slight um, minty taste to them as well when you put them on and a minty smell um, so just um, beware of that it's not too too strong and I think it does fade um, pretty quickly over time these blend really nicely this next one is grandma the idea of lip tars being that you can obviously blend in your own colors and they come in green yellow you know blue so that you can really mix any color that you would want yellow grandma's really pretty it's like a corally peachy color there you go and two more colors to go we've got hush hush is a really pretty nude i really liked the swatches of hush on the online the reason I got this set was because I was really interested anyway in getting a neem or a nime uh, grandma and hush and I thought why don't I just get the the set and then sweet pixie blue is getting a few other colors that are available of the OCC lip tars so um, that is hush there on the end you can see hopefully that it's a bit more of a nude and I'm not going to swatch um, the clear lip tar for you but I would thoroughly um, recommend these as far as you know if you really just want a really pigmented color that you can mix I mean you can mix any lipsticks that you have anyway but they're really novel they will last you a long long time and uh, I'm loving them so far. I'm really excited to um, try out some more colors as well. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or any comments or anything that you would like to uh, mention about anything discussed in this video, please feel free to do that down below. Thanks guys so much for watching. Wishing you a beautiful day and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.